Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you on how you can install OutStore on your iOS devices using a Windows computer. If you're using Mac, you can, you can follow the steps available on the OutStore site. So all links for these processes are available in the description. So the first step that you need to do is open the link for the OutStore. It will then redirect you to their site and here you will need to download the iTunes and iCloud. For iTunes, you need to select if your PC or laptop is 32 or 64 bit. It can be checked by going to settings or control panel. After downloading those two, we will now download the OutStore zip file. Just select this portion that show installing OutStore. Now in the new tab, select Windows. Once iTunes and iCloud are downloaded, proceed to installation. I will not do it anymore since I have already installed it on my device. After installing the both of them, go ahead and go to downloads folder and extract the OutStore zip file. In the extracted folder, open the setup to proceed to installation. Once installed, go to Windows and search for Alt Server and run it as administrator. You will see this Diamond Ship logo now appearing on your taskbar. Now we will go to iTunes and iCloud, but first we will proceed or set up first the iCloud. So in iCloud, just input your Apple ID and follow the prompts that will appear on your Windows device and on your iOS device. So if you're using iOS 15 or older, you will no longer need this extra step. However, if you're using iOS 16 and later, you, you'll need to turn on first the developer mode, by going to settings, privacy and security, then developer mode. Then turn on this toggle for developer mode. It will then prompt you to restart your device. Do it. After the phone boots up, tap turn on on the pop-up, then enter your device passcode to confirm. If developer mode isn't showing up on your device, you can try to restart your device first or you can try to disable lockdown feature if you've turned it on prior into watching this video. After doing that, go to iTunes and connect your Apple device. Hit trust and input your passcode if this show on your device. Then go to this phone logo on the upper portion of iTunes. It will then show your device information and in the lower portion of it, select this portion that shows sync with the iPhone over Wi-Fi. Then hit done. After doing this, go to your taskbar and select show hidden icons on the lower right side of the screen. Then left click your mouse into the Outstore logo. It will then show a pop-up. Just hover to install Outstore and select your iOS device. Then it will ask for your Apple ID. Input the same Apple ID you have inputted on the iCloud and select send once finished. After a few seconds, the OutStore logo will now appear on your iOS device. If you will try to open this, it will show a prompt just like this. To access the app, go to Settings, General, VPN, and Device Management. Select your Apple ID and select Trust and hit Trust again. In OutStore, hit this prompt, OK, and then go to Settings, which is on the lower right side of the app. Now sign in again with your Apple ID, same as what we used in the first part. Now tap got it and enable also the background app refresh toggle if it's turned off. To install IPA file, go to my apps which is in the third row button below. Then select this plus icon on the upper left side to add the IPA file. Once you selected the IPA file, it will then proceed to installation. Make sure that your device is discoverable by your alt server to successfully install an IPA file. For steps on how you can download IPA file, you can check the description of this video or you can check the card that will appear on the right side of your screen. If you want to install more than 3 apps using OutStore, you can do it by activating the Mac Dirty Cow exploit. First is download the WDB Remove App Tree Limit on GitHub. You can follow the steps that I'm doing right now on my device. After downloading this, just install it using the OutStore. To remove the tree app limit, you need to make sure that your device is on iOS 14 to 15.7.1 or iOS 16 to 16.1.2 because you cannot activate it no more on the newer version of iOS 16. Now go to settings section and swipe up your three fingers just like this. Then a new option will show that shows enforce tree app limit. Now untoggle this button. Now go to WDB remove our tree limit app then tap go and hit OK. Once the success showed, go to Alt Store and install the third app. If you're seeing this prompt after doing this, you will need to restart your device and repeat the process inside the WDB. You can install apps as long as there are Apple IDs available on the Outstore. 
To refresh apps, you need to make sure that your device is connected to the same network as your computer and the alt server can detect your device. If your device can refresh wirelessly, you can try to connect your device via cable to refresh the apps. I hope this video was able to help you. For more videos just like this, please consider dropping a like and subscribing into my channel. You can check my other socials, uh, more particularly TikTok and Instagram, for other videos related to this video that are not allowed on YouTube due to its guidelines. For video suggestions, you can comment down it below of this video, and I'll try to cater your suggestions with the best of my abilities. So this is Megan JC. Thank you and see you into the next one.